What we got next here? Oh, we got a Patreon, Ian. How do you access the CU Podcast Patreon? Patreon.com slash CU Podcast. I do... Um, oh. I do uh, writing once a week. We do the full video podcast. Okay. It's made available to you. Yes. And we'll get it made available on YouTube as well at some point via the subscriptions. We'll try that. Still got to try that. Um, we also do a poll every week. Every week you can partake in a poll and we will discuss it. I also do a hangout. You do do a hangout. I do. Got to probably schedule that. So... This this week's uh, Patreon poll topic in third place, Star Wars Memories as Kids Slash Teens, 15%. Second place, NBA Jam Deep Dive Discussion, 23%. It's hanging on. And in first place, 62% Ian and 64 Collecting. Is the library worth diving into? Well, I've, I've given my opinion on that a few times before, but I think it's it's been more popular lately. Um. The N64 is worth getting into if you like the N64. You don't necessarily need someone to justify that for you. Um, on the other hand, I don't feel like it's particularly worth getting into overall because it doesn't have a large variety of games. Um, yes, there are good games on the N64, but even some of the best game lists, as soon as people start you know, really... Uh, you know, going through them, you realize that there is a there, there's a couple of genres on the N64 that really repeat. Um, racing games being the number one genre. When I go through some of my favorite N64 games, I think of stuff like um, the Snowboard Kids games. Uh, I really like Beetle Adventure Racing. I like the Rush games, but I'm not Mickey a person. Speedway. I've never played Mickey Speedway actually. Um, but I Mario Kart 64, they're all good, but I don't need that level. Uh, I don't need that many racing games in my library. Um, South Park Rally. South Park Rally, yes. Uh, was cruising bad. USA, Cruising World, Cruising Exotica. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's uh, all the Top Gear games, the World Rally games. There really is just an absurd number of racing games yeah, it's on a lot. the system. I'm not counting the Star Wars ones and... Um... Uh, what the fuck? I, God, we, even Diddy Kong we didn't bring up. Nope. Um, so I think that there is enough. The N64 has a lot of first party games that people fondly remember. Um, as those get ported to other systems, I feel like it's harder and harder to recommend getting into N64 collecting. Um, because you can get those in, on a system uh, that is going to display them properly to your TV. Or if it's a handheld, they'll be in the handheld. And there's just there's better ways to play those games now. But that's not why a lot of people get into collecting. A lot of people get into collecting to chase after memories and things like that. I do think the Nintendo 64 has the benefit of being a small games library without a lot of titles that go for an insane amount of money. There are titles that do, but not enough to, I think, make it, um, you know, incredibly daunting to someone who might want to go get a full set. It's, it's, um, it's a weird system because obviously talk about first party games. Yeah. Everyone likes the first party games. Everyone likes the rare games. And yeah, there's like the 10 to 20 third party games that people bring up. You know, there's people, there's some people that love Turok, you know, there's some people that, you know, uh, obviously the, the WWF, uh, what was it? Uh, no mercy. People love, people love the WCW games. Maybe, sure. maybe not, maybe not backstage assault. Cause we said we're, we're going to do a Ooh. wrestling game without a ring for some reason. Backstage assault uh, is miserable, but there's a lot of, fun games here and there but then you also have a system where you have you know game ports where the N64 is probably not the best place to play you know Resident Evil 2 right it's probably not the best place to play uh, Pro Skater it's actually a very good version of Resident Evil 2 it's the first one to add analog um, it's really not bad but yes you're right like I would not think of playing Pro Skater that would not be my first choice for Pro Skater it wouldn't be my first choice for um you know, Mortal Kombat trilogy. Uh, Which I forgot was on the system until you said it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not going to be my first choice for a lot of that stuff. Th that's the thing. When you look at a lot of these games, unless they're a very particular style, like like, like NBA Hang Time is excellent because that's like a direct it's arcade a great port. great game. It's a direct arcade port. I mean, it's excellent on the Super Nintendo, but it's even better on 
N64 because it, it's it's the arcade and it's four players built into the system. So I remember having a lot of fun with my cousins playing that game, for example. But there's also, like you said, there's just a ton of racing games. We did, I think we did, we did the number one time. It was, it, it was like 50 <laughs> to 60 games. It and, was ridiculous. And look, I I collect for a system that has at least 35 Mahjong games on it. So I understand what it's like to have certain I, genres dominate your library. But the problem is, is the N64 library is small to begin with. Yeah, it's it's 296 North American and PAL. Um, we did do that once and we figured was, out a percentage and it was it, something crazy. It was nuts. Um, and we're not even talking about, we didn't talk about the sports games. Um, we talked about hang time, but that's sure. like an arcade game to me. But like, again, I think if someone wants to go, go back and play a you know, a Madden game, I don't know if they're going back to the N64 to play Madden 2000. My gut tells me that's not like the version they want to play. No. You know, or play like, do they want to play uh, NBA in the zone 99? Or do they want to play... Um, Kobe Bryant courtside. Quarterback club 99? Or, I mean, Blitz is, a, again, that's an arcade game. That's separate. So even the sports games... The... the Blitz games are really good on there, and people buy them like crazy. I will, I will give it that. I'm talking traditional sports, though. Oh, sure, sure. So even those, you already have a bunch of sports titles, which is a chunk of the system sports. Obviously, that no one's going to look back and say, "I want to play those games nowadays." Right. What, what's the point of playing those? Uh, is is Ready to Rumble a decent ports on on the N64 versus Dreamcast? I'm guessing. I'm guessing they're not as good as the Dreamcast ones, but I I never played them. Yeah, I'm not certain uh, on that. And then, of course, you have the really weird shit like Superman 64 and all the 64 games that they, they brought out just to put 64 in the title. You know, there's some of, there's some of those. <laughs> Virtual Pool 64, Virtual Chess 64. Do we, I don't think we need the power of, of, of chess on the N64. I just don't see that being a no, thing. No, the, the, uh, the power of chess. <laughs> the power of chess on the 64, yes. Uh, that, so that's what I mean. It's a weird system. It's, a, it's just a weird system. And it's also weird, though, when you look at collecting it, that... There's not a lot of like accessories that for it. Uh, I mean, for term, in terms of first party accessories, in terms of first party, there's like nothing. I think I told you there was like a, there was a fishing thing in Japan, a fishing rod thing that came out in Japan, but not here. And that was first party. I believe they. I believe it was first party. I have to double check. Just research for the upcoming book. Um, but you have like the transfer pack, if you count that as an accessory. Sure. Microphone. Um. And if you count the rumble pack and memory, you know, memory cards, which they also also made third party. There's like, it's not interesting. And obviously they had like crappy control, like, you know, uh, steering wheel controllers and things like that, but there's no light gun at all. Mm -mm. So it's the first Nintendo console without a light gun. Um, so that's one less genre, one less. And I don't know why they didn't bother because they probably would have sold. So it, it's just to me, not interesting because of that. Looks like it's uh, an ASCII controller. For it's the, ASCII? Yeah. So not first party. Okay. So, um, it's not a system, obviously, for RPGs. Oh, no, absolutely it's, not. There's only, what, what, two? Uh, one or two? Aiden um, Chronicles, Quest. I mean, those are the ones that you... Uh, uh, there probably was one or two in Japan. Ogre Battle. But that's not there's Ogre Battle is more of a strategy yeah. RPG. Um, yeah. and, and the RPGs that are on the system are not generally considered great. Like I like Quest sixty four. I think it's cute, but in quaint. But it's not like a it's not like a deep dive like people were getting on you know the PlayStation at the time. You you weren't getting any Square Enix level stuff. And then you have weird ports like Starcraft, where I cannot picture that being fun to play with an N sixty four controller at all. Mm, I just probably not. I no. just don't picture that. Um, and then you have to see what's actually compatible with, with the, the mouse that came out in uh, Japan. Um, so, yeah, there, it's just a strange system. It's not, a, I, to me, I, I'm not, when we, when we go off on the N64, it's not like, oh, we hate this thing. It's just like, it's just not, it doesn't stand up. The library just doesn't stand up. It does not excite me. If it excites you, that's fine. Um, and when, I, I mean, as a whole, because like the weird stuff or really bad stuff, it, to me, doesn't have a charm. Like, I, I would never want to play uh, Superman 64 in my life. But I'll play some crappy Super Nintendo game or some crappy NES game for fun. Yeah, but like, I mean, at that point, uh, I, I, I get it and I agree, but at that point, that's a very much, uh, there's someone, there's, for every person like us who wants to do that with the uh, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, there's people out there who want to do it with the N64. It's just not our thing. Yeah, but then it's just, the, the, I'm just saying it's less charming. The N64 aesthetic is less charming. As they well. may think it's more charming. In general, it isn't because that is not a retro style that's come no, back in vogue. It's gross. 16-bit, 8-bit pixel art. N64 has been sort of... I like low-polygon stuff, but I don't like... Um, 
you, yeah, I don't need it with that aesthetic. I don't need it with the fog and stuff attached to it. I'm actually, I'm actually, I, I'm not trying to push a product that's not going to come out for at least a year and a half. But what's interesting is that I, I actually want to now play like Quake Two on the N64 to see how it plays. Sure, I'm actually interested in in, in playing. Um, you always you, you always bring up Doom sixty four. I will review Doom sixty four for the book. I it's, will do that. It's it's a good game that is flawed on the sixty four. Definitely, I would suggest playing it. You're gonna have to review it for the book, but definitely yeah. play the Switch version. It's better. But I'm not looking forward to the person that's have to do a lot of these sports titles, you know, or 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 like Jeremy McGrath Supercross two thousand. Maybe it's a fun game, but I mean, like I. It's it's a I was gonna say mile wide wide puddle deep. It's not even a mile wide though. The N sixty four library. It's like a river wide. Yeah. You know, puddle deep. It's a that's, crick. That, that, that's the thing. It's it's a strange console. You really have to love the aesthetic, and um, yeah, I mean, you you can literally probably take out the sports and racing games, and you're already down to like probably two hundred and ninety games left. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. No, well, far less than that. Uh, oh, oh, in the U.S., North America, you're down to probably 200 games. Yeah, yeah. that aren't sports and racing at that point. Oh, we're having ca- counting like the 10, 10 wrestling games. So if, you're, so if you're not into wrestling, that's 10, 12 less games right there. Because remember, there was an ECW game as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're already coming down. It, it's there's just not a lot of genres of games, at least. Or there's if there's a genre, there's not a lot. Like how many puzzle games are there? Like a handful of puzzle games. Uh, Pokemon Puzzle League, Wetrix, Tetris, Wetrix, New Tetris. Uh, well, Magical Tetris, New Tetris, Tetrisphere. There's like six, seven. So that's what I mean. It's yeah. like it's just not a well-rounded system. It's not well-rounded because no. even the fighting games isn't. There isn't a. Oh, there's like no fighting games. A handful of fighting games. And, and, and yeah, in terms of fighting games that people would even maybe take seriously, you've got your uh, MK Trilogy and your um, Killer Instinct Gold. I mean, and that's and it. Smash. We count Smash. And as Smash. A fighting game. Uh, no one's going. No one's going Gaga over the N64 War Gods port. Oh, War Gods! I remember that game. My my, my cousin had that game. That was weird. Or uh. What is it? Fighter's History? Yeah. What was that like? Uh, No, Fighter's History. um, Fighter's uh, Destiny. Fighter's Destiny, yeah. Is that the one where you made your own moves? I believe you can create your own moveset, yeah. It was interesting, but I mean, it's a a strange system. And okay, but you can can collect the different colored consoles. That was the first time Nintendo's like, we're going to, we can't really sell you anything else. Well, I think think collectors for the N64 do have a lot of fun with that. And if I was into the N64, I'd probably be that way too there's the 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 limited edition uh controllers are um beautiful for the n64 um and that's actually something that i i do enjoy looking into people should look into it i can't remember who wrote the article um there's like a whole article i read a year or two ago just on controller collecting for the n64 the amount of official variants was that like there, 20 of them there's there's so many you know with those weird skin ones that were kind of official and, too and if you it, yeah there's there's a lot of really neat like official n64 controllers i'm not saying like different designs they're all the same design but like uh, you know this store had its own official one with like its logo on it and there were these weird colors and yeah I, I like the N64 controller stuff I think it's neat to look at I probably own all the mainstream ones except for that the weird Nintendo Power one. I do have the, the banana one somewhere it's not in great shape but I think I have just about all the standard I guess North American ones but no I don't have like 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 the ones that are like skin differently yeah I like I like all of those I, I, I don't think cool I've seen looking. those in person anywhere there's probably so no few they're like supposed to be very very rare some of those let's see red yellow blue green black gray great purple atomic purple jungle green fire red ice blue watermelon red smoke gray extreme green and gold I guess those are the regular what standard ones. What melon so those are the ones that are retail North America. That's like fifteen or so. And then obviously the Nintendo Power was it two was it two hundredth issue Nintendo Power one. Yeah. And then obviously the banana one. And I think that's it for those ones. Besides the reskin weird ones that are semi official, I guess. Uh, there. So uh, well, that's it. You know. And then uh, no other real. I, I, was there a, was there a fighter stick joystick for the N sixty four? No, there's no games on it that would really take advantage of it. There's literally nothing that uses six buttons. It's a fighting game. Mortal Kombat uses five. I don't think there's any. There was never a stick in the U.S. And let me let me just say something about the N64 controller. Is that I don't think I've, I've maligned it. I don't think it's a terrible controller. The N64 controller. I just think there was a couple of weird things they did to it that I think, in retrospect, they should have redesigned. 
The uh, shell, the shape is not my issue. My issue is just the general crappiness of that analog stick. Well, it just goes. Yeah, if it didn't get so loose, and if it had something like a little bit of grip on the actual top of it, instead yes. of just... I, you get Nintendo thumb or N64 thumb on yeah. that after a while if you play... I would like it a lot more if it was just a slightly better joystick. I, I But as an analog, it worked great. Having like, you know, three pressures to the left and right for Smash Brothers, like that was good. I really dislike the four yellow yellow control buttons the and, camera buttons and i think that's a disservice to to do yourself really because if you really think that we're going to have camera buttons to use in every single game that comes out in the console you're really banking on the 3d uh you know polygon and what if it's a 2d game you know what if it's a standard fighting game now those yellow buttons aren't as easy to use if it's like a street fighter type of game i just think it's a weird choice to do that um, to, and to misshape them like that versus the you know the big a and the, the bigger a and b's. It's yeah, a, it's just a weird, it's it's just a weird thing to me. I I, I guess for most games it doesn't matter, but you're just selling yourself short. Uh, for, for, the D pad still a good D pad. It's still, well, I mean, you know, this was where people were. I mean, companies were trying to get used to this whole analog thing. That I mean, so Nintendo did this, and then Sony improved on it a little bit by adding the second analog stick, which is way better than using control buttons. You know, and that way you have room for actual, uh, you know, additional buttons. You don't have to try to make, you know, your camera controls and your game controls the the same. Maybe that's what it is. I'm I'm surprised. That, I'm surprised they didn't redo the N64 controller in some other version. I'm just surprised they did. You know, I just don't think it was popular for long enough to, to, to warrant that? a second, a, a, you know, a, a small, a, a, either a redesign. small redesign or just a redesign in general, like the Hori pad that came out, third party pad. Okay, well there you go. That's our that's our word on the N sixty four. It's a st stream wide, maybe stream deep or, or <laughs> deep still. stream wide. My, <laughs> I'm just saying shit. Yeah, uh, ASCII fishing controller, go away. Stop buying it. Stop, I'm not, I'm not buying it. Stop looking at Phoebe Cates fishing. All right. Uh, 